Yo, yo, yo. So today I'm going to be making lobster and corn on the grill. Uh, first, we're going to start with the corn. I got my grill outside prepped, ready to go. So for my corn, I like to, um, if I don't get it on the, uh, if I don't get it already, like with the stalk still on it and everything, uh, if I just buy it like this and this, I'll show you how I prep this. Uh, usually I'll just throw the corn straight on the grill when it's in its, uh, when it's all covered up in that little green thingy, but when it's not like that, I'll, this gives us a chance to add a little bit, uh, flavor to it. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding a little bit of black garlic powder, uh, some onion powder, and then I'm gonna have some basil here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add some chili just a little bit, just cause. Alrighty. So now we're just going to mix all that up. Alrighty. So, and then of course we'll get our peppercorn because we got to have peppercorn. So then what I do is I just uh, take the corn out and then uh, we'll give all these like a little rinse just cause, you know. In case there's any, uh, in case they spray anything on there that we don't know about. So then what I do here is I just add just a little bit of the seasoning to that. A little bit of basil and then some peppercorn and then a little scoop of some butter and we'll just put that right in there then we'll just take this we'll fold that in and then we'll just fold this over and we'll try to get it as tight as possible and what that's going to do is the butter is going to melt. It's going to stay encased in here. It's going to keep the corn really nice and moist. Uh, and then it's also easy to handle afterwards. You can just take it off the grill like that. And, uh, and you can save it for the next day. If you're not going to eat it that day, you can just uh, put it back on the grill. Or you can heat it in the oven. And it's going to stay and remain fresh uh, like it does. So... So that's pretty much how you do it. Uh, I'm going to go outside and check on the grill real quick and then uh, I'll pause the camera. I'll finish prepping all this and then uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll show you how we do it. All right. And so now the next thing is I'm going to make my pan for uh, just uh, my little butter mixed wine sauce and everything. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some butter because we're going to need a lot of butter in here. And I'm putting it in my cast iron skillet. There we go. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of some minced garlic. Throw that in there. I would crush it myself, but uh, I ran out of garlic. So I'm just going to add some minced garlic in there. And then, uh, actually, that's good enough. But uh, we'll, I like to add a little bit of black black powder, the black garlic powder. I think that goes great with everything. And then I'm gonna add some wine. Uh, for this one, I'm just using like a cheap Chardonnay. Doesn't matter, but uh, you can add lemon juice if you want to as well. And I'm just gonna add some lime. I mean, I'm just gonna add some wine. Um, I made this with a different kind of wine before, but this is just the juice that I like to kind of base the lobster tails in. So we're going to take this outside. I got my corn ready, got my pan ready. So we're going to go ahead out in the grill now. Alrighty, so uh, my weapon today of choice, I'm using my Char Griller Legacy. Uh, I, I took the smoker box off it. I'm just using it as a grill today. But um, it's very versatile. I really love this. Um, so one thing, first thing I'm going to do, I have my uh, hardwood coals just sitting there simmering uh, it's nice and the grill feels nice and warm and hot what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna take my corn and I'm just gonna place it we'll place it up here on the top rack that way we can kind of we can kind of forget about it and it won't overcook so we'll just leave our corn up there that's gonna get nice and hot um, then our wine butter sauce I'm gonna place that over here place it here because I do want to melt this butter so we'll do that first and then we'll just close it so we'll just have that melt and uh, we're gonna head inside and I'm gonna show you how to prep my lobster actually 
Now that I've thought about it, I gotta prep it from I didn't pre-prep it. So I'm gonna move this over here. That way it doesn't burn up. And um that way it doesn't evaporate all the butter by the time I get back here. So we'll leave that over here. The heat's just gonna melt that slowly, and our corn's gonna get nice and uh roasted slowly. So we'll head back inside and we'll prep the lobster. Alrighty, so now we're in the kitchen with our lobster tails. So what I'm gonna do is now before you guys see me, I just pretty much cut them in half. Uh, but this time I want to butterfly them. So I'm, I can't find my scissors. I had some kitchen shears. And if you have that, it's really easy. You just take the scissors and you just pretty much cut up the spine until you get down. Then you just crack it and then you just slowly pull the meat up. If you don't have that, though, you can use either a, um, just hopefully a knife with like that's got serrated edges. And then so what you want to do is you want to lightly like cut but you don't want to cut too deep you don't want to cut into the meat so you just want to cut apply just enough pressure where you just crack the shell so what i like to do is i just come right on top there we go and then you can you can do like a little sawing motion but be careful because it's slippery and you can slip and cut your hand very easily but uh as you see yeah there we go so now it's, it's pulling a little bit. So yeah. The moral of this story is make sure you have the right kind of kitchen tools. This works too. You can actually uh, do that to kind of crush it a little bit. Yeah, actually that works better. Look at that. Learn as we go. All right. So now I got a cut down the middle. I'm just going to take it between my hand like this. If your hands are too small, you can use bigger. You can use two hands like this. And you just kind of want to bring it in on itself to kind of crack it that way. There we go. So then next, we're gonna just open it up by the spine, kind of pull this meat apart slowly but surely. And pretty much, we're just gonna go up under here where this skin is, and we're gonna use our fingers to separate the meat from the shell. And then as we're doing this, we're also pulling this open and opening this up. You don't have to worry about this being all messy. Um, if there are like little shell parts that you got everywhere, you can just rinse it off really easily. That's not hard to do. And what we're gonna do is just gonna pull it and the meat's just gonna piggyback right on top of it. So just like that. And that's pretty much how we do it. Then what I also like to do for presentation wise, um, I take off at least one layer of the uh, shell. So I take off one outer layer because the meat is gonna shrink and that way when it shrinks, it's like the perfect fit. Otherwise, you're going to have the meat shrink. It's going to have more tail than uh, meat or more shell than meat. So, all right. So we're going to sit that just like that. I'm going to put that in our foil pan. Actually, we'll rinse off the excess shells. Uh, I don't have any, but I have before. And you just pretty much just rinse it off. And then that's that like that. Now, the second one, I kind of already went ahead and did it. So I'm just gonna peel um, my back layer. Well, I'm peeling out the uh, top layer first. And then uh, we're gonna take that, we're just gonna lift this up. And pull it, and you don't wanna pull it too much because you don't wanna separate it from it. You just kinda want it to lay down right over there. Now there's like a little membrane through here. Um, you can actually like cut that open and then it'll actually butterfly. So we'll just do that. I'll just give it like a nice little cut. There we go. And that'll open it up a little bit more. There we go. So now you see it's opened up a little more and now that's where we get that nice beautiful uh, thing. So I'm actually do it both ways because I'm, I'm interested to see how it's gonna come out. So this is just what it piggybacked on top. It's still intact. This is where I cut it open. So you see it's more open. So this will allow for like the lobster to have more juice inside, be more juicy, but this is gonna allow us to add more flavor deep into the meat of the flesh. I don't know which one's better. So we'll do one of each and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have my uh, companion do a taste test. But now for me, now this is gonna be mine right here. I got the big boy today. So, 
pretty much the same thing whether you're doing a small lobster or a big one. Uh, the big ones, be careful. Well, actually, all lobsters be careful because these things are sharp. You can actually cut yourself with them. And uh, if you nick yourself with it, you will bleed. So like here, it's really slippery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it flat first. And I'm just gonna make like a little sawing motion just to get some, just to get some traction on it. And we'll, there we go. And you'll notice like the color of these is like, a, oh shit, didn't mean to do that. That shouldn't affect it though too much. All right, well, so you'll notice that the color of these is like a, a dark grayish. This one's kind of orangey-ish. When you finish cooking it, it's gonna turn bright red and it's gonna be that delicious looking color we all love. So yeah, now this is perfect. Actually, why won't this separate too much? Okay. Whew. This one's a little rough. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do is the same thing. Just gonna pull this. And we're just gonna set this. Ah, why is this giving me so much trouble? Maybe it's because it's bigger. All right, there we go. So I just gotta put my fingers in there a little bit better. There we go, crush it a little bit more. And just be patient with it. Uh, the more you work it, it'll come off easily. There we go. Yeah, don't be afraid to get your hands all dirty and clammy and cold. All right, there we go. So now we'll pull this back and then we'll just rest it right on top. Now this is a thicker piece of lobster, so I am gonna cut that membrane just so I can butterfly it. I'm just gonna rip that, there we go. We'll just crush and rip that open. There we go, beautiful. And yeah, actually in this, and now sometimes when you do that, you will you might have to devein it. Like there's this big old piece of gunk we don't want. So I'm just gonna take that out the lobster tail. There's still a little bit of ice particles in there, but that's okay. So now we're just gonna season these up. And then what I have already prepared is, uh, this is just some Old Bay and some basil. Uh, really light, not gonna do too much to it. Uh, Cause all the flavor is gonna come in on the grill when I smoke it. So we're pretty much just gonna give them a little, a little coat like that. And now lemon works great on this too, if you wanna do lemon, so. That's just another uh, tip I like to go with. All right, there we go, perfect. So, uh, we're gonna take these outside and we're gonna throw them right on the grill. Now, during this time, uh, all the other stuff that I've been preparing on the grill, that's still in motion. Uh, that's still doing its thing. I still got my butter sauce sitting there. That's gonna be good. And then uh, my corn should be nice and ready to rotate and turn around. So we'll take all this outside and uh, yeah. All righty, so we are outside. Uh, my corn is looking nice. I'm just gonna flip that over. I'm noticing a little bit of color on the uh, on the foil, which is all right. So we're just gonna flip those over. Oof, they are hot. Those are hot. Now you want to be careful because your cast iron is going to be really hot. So make sure you have a pot handler or something to maneuver it. And this right here, I got all my butter and garlic and uh, my wine sauce. So first thing we're going to do is just going to take our uh, we're going to take our um, lobster tails, put it right on the grill, and that'll give it a nice. Uh, a nice flavor. Ooh. There we go. See, this kind of all over. There we go. We'll put this one right there. Beautiful. And then what I'm gonna do is, uh, in here I got like a little brush that I made. Um, There's a little bit of thyme in here, some parsley, and a uh, and a green onion. So I'm just gonna take that, whisk it around in my butter. And then we'll just dab it. Uh, we're just dabbing our um, lobster meat with that. All right. 
And I'm going to keep this outside the grill because I don't want to cook it. But uh, I'll just pour the rest of that juice. And we'll just slowly baste this. All right, so we'll leave this out here. I'm going to go ahead and close it, let some of the uh, flavors work its way into the lobster meat. And we'll just close that up. And so we have it right directly on the coals. I'm going to go ahead and open this up so it gets a little bit more heat. But you really don't need that much heat to the lobster. It'll cook fast. I mean, all seafood does. I got it directly under there. So that shell, because it's piggyback, is actually going to protect the meat from uh, burning out and drying out too fast. So, yeah, so it's just that extra layer. Then I got the, uh, I actually got my grate low. So, but it's over the direct heat. So it's going to get that heat to it. Uh, but it's just like a real nice, low, slow roast uh, that we're doing. And, uh, yeah, so... Well, we'll just let it sit like this for a couple minutes, and I'm going to check on it, and we'll baste it, and, uh, yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and check it out. It's very windy out here. Very windy. And uh, as you can see, we're noticing the color on the lobster tails. is getting uh, nice and reddish, which is what we want. We're noticing some of the meat is firming up a little bit, which is good. This big one's gonna take a longer time. So I'm actually get some tongs so I can move this around a little bit. We got our nice butter. And I put it on the shell too, just to keep the shell nice and moist. Alrighty. So yeah, we'll just close that up, and I'm gonna go give you some tongs to move all this around. All righty, we are out here. So they've been on here for like maybe seven minutes or so. So where's my I'm losing all my stuff? We'll be right back. All righty, so the lobster tails are pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna move them around a little bit so that they get uh, even cooking. Now this big one can sit on the coals a little bit better. But yeah, lobster's looking nice, very juicy, very moist. We're gonna keep hitting it with our hot butter, of course. Let me bring you guys in closer so you guys can see See, so yeah, I got my butter here, and we're just yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, close it up. Um, we're gonna let this rest for a while. I might move these over to the cool side. Actually, I'll do that now. Just so I'm gonna leave mine. I'm gonna leave a big one over there. But we'll move these over. Now, if you want to actually just sit this in the butter, you can do that. Actually, we, we will do that, actually. So we'll just sit those in there like that. It's, the butter's going to uh, steam and cook, add some more flavor in there. I'm going to keep basting this. And uh, right now, we'll uh, head inside and we will prep our salad. All right, so this is pretty much a simple salad I took. Uh, I grounded it up, so I shredded some uh, Parmesan Asiago cheese, just threw that in there with a bunch of leaves that I found outside, <laughs> and then some croutons. So we're just gonna mix that up, and that's pretty much it. And we got some uh, Caesar salad or ranch, whatever you want to put on it. We're gonna go outside and check on the grill in a minute. All righty, we are here with the final product we're going to get ready to pull everything now but i put all the lobster tails in this butter just uh just to let them sit and then um we got our corn here corn looks nice and beautiful let me go ahead and unwrap it so you guys can see it but yeah that's how it's gonna look you see all that steam coming from it nice beautiful corn has got the herbs all spread apart that's gonna be real nice and flavorful I'm gonna take all this inside and we're gonna plate it up and uh yeah all right so this is the final product i got the lobster with the corn and i got my wine so i'm gonna go ahead and dig it i am hungry thank you for tuning in to another episode of vic cook uh like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and uh yeah